Welcome back to my channel. I'm in the kitchen today and I'm going to make a healthy green smoothie and I want to show y'all how I make it. Um, first I want to welcome all of my new subscribers and I want to welcome the ones that are just passing through. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and join our YouTube family and I do welcome all of my family back here who, who are devoted and y'all keep leaving comments and I just love hearing from you. So thank you so much. Um, so let me show you what I'm going to do to make my green smoothie. Okay, so I'm using the Ninja, and this was a, um, a Christmas gift from Marsha. She's one of my new subscribers, and she was so sweet to order that for me. And um, one of my new, well, I guess my only New Year's resolution is to get healthy. And I'm not going to go all out and go crazy and join a gym and do all that kind of stuff, but... um. My goal is to drink a smoothie every day and then go for a walk. I'm just taking little steps at a time to just, you know, improve my health. So, I'll show you how I make my green smoothie. Now, you can use any kind of fruit or vegetable that you want. Um, I have the grapes in here. These are the ones that I froze from the Aldi dumpster. I have one ice cube and just about an inch of water. So I'm going to add some um, fresh blueberries. I just washed a few. Now these little colanders, um, I bought them about 10 years ago from Home Goods, And I absolutely love them, y'all. It's so much easier than getting out that big old colander to wash some small, um, you know, fruits and berries and things like that. Anyway, um, I did find them on Amazon, so I'll leave the link down in the description if you want to buy you a set. They're under $15. So when I bought my broccoli the other day, I, I usually buy the crowns, but then they're a lot more expensive for pounds. So I thought, well, I'll buy the the ones, you know, the ones with the stalk and then just use the stalk in my green smoothie. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a fourth of an apple. Now, if you're diabetic, you don't want to use all this fruit. You just use your greens and, um, you know, whatever kind of sugar substitute that you use. You could sweeten it that way. And uh, you could just put in some peanut butter or almonds or walnuts or something to get your protein or even yogurt. So, I'm going to go ahead and have everything in here. Oops, I forgot the orange. Just a minute. <laughs> What's good about the orange, it, um, well, not only do you get the vitamin C and everything that you need as far as the nutrition, it, the acidity helps cut some of that, the taste from the greens. Now, these are the little, they call them little cuties, but when I was growing up in South Mississippi, we called them satsumas, but then they had to go and give them a fancy name and <laughs> marketing for you, huh? I bet that's an interesting profession to be in, is marketing. Coming up with all these ideas for commercials and, and branding and all that. So here's my little cutie. It's going to go in. Okay. So I'm going to turn it off because it is going to be very loud, and I'll be right back. You make it, um, put all the fruit in first, and then put the green, the leaves down here because it's uh, difficult to get them to fall all the way down to mix. So, cover your ears. It's like... I do have the little top that screws on it, but, um, you know, I just like drinking it like this. It, I don't really have to have that top. Let me taste of it. Mmm. Oh, my goodness, it's good. And healthy. I mean, I don't think that I could sit down and eat that much fruit or that much green at one time. Um, I 
Yeah, you know, I just don't think that I could eat a, a fourth of an apple and a, a little cutie and a handful of grapes and a handful of blueberries. So you're getting all the nutrients in your smoothie and you don't have to eat all of that. So, I mean, you know, and, and as we get older, we really do need more calcium and magnesium and potassium and, and all the good nutrition that is in this smoothie. Mm. So I wanted to tell y'all about a story. A story about our fireplace. When we lived in Covington, we had a beautiful wood-burning fireplace. So we were always trying to get wood for it. Well, when I worked at the shipyard, um, there were some men there who sold the firewood. In fact, they had, um, the shipyard had wanted some of the pine trees removed from the yard. So they, you know, were given to the men to cut them down. And then they just sold the wood right there from the shipyard. So John and I bought some of the wood. It wasn't a cord. It was probably a half a cord because a cord of wood is a lot of wood. <laughs> we didn't need that much. So we borrowed this old van and we loaded up all this firewood and everything. By the time we got home, it was dark, but we went ahead and unloaded it and stacked it up on the porch and the house and everything. Well, the next morning I go to swing open the drapes and y'all, there was a big old snake laying on top of that firewood. Oh! <laughs> so I reckon we also bought us a snake and brought it home with us. But uh, this is the picture of the fireplace. And um, I don't think, I don't see any flames, so there wasn't no fire burning that day. But you can see, you can see the log in there and everything. And y'all, I had never had a fireplace when I grew up out there on Hargrove Hill. We didn't have a fireplace. We just had those old um, gas heaters with the, the grates on the front, you know. So I didn't know, even know how to build a fire in there. So I had started a fire, you know, with, with a couple of little pieces of can, um, tender, whatever it is, fat wood, and put some newspaper in there and put a little log in there. Well, then I had this big old heavy log. So I had the little fire going and everything. So I took the log y'all and just threw it in there and when I did the grate and everything came tumbling out and and it went all down here on the brick and everything well then I had to run into the kitchen and and grab a bucket of water or a pan of water and go in there and, and put that fire out and I had the biggest mess y'all <laughs> it was awful so don't ever throw a log onto the fire and I hope you enjoyed my little smoothie recipe and I'll leave the links for the uh, the Fit Ninja and the little colanders down below in the description. All you have to do is click on that blue, and then you can order it from Amazon. Thank you guys so much, and keep on coming back. Bye.